from Sonoma County, Amber Ciara. Amber Sarah, bilingual, bilingue, Rena P. Espiat, my father liked them separate, one there, one here, aya, iaki, as if aware that words might cut in to his daughter's heart, el corazón, and lock the alien part to what he was, his memory, his name, su nombre, with a key he could not claim. English outside this door, Spanish inside, he said, y basta. But who can divide the world, the word, mundo y palabra, from any child? I knew how to be dumb and stubborn, testaruda, late in bed. I hoarded secret syllables. I read until my tongue, mi lengua, learned to run. Where his stumbled. And still, the heart was one. I like to think he knew that, even when proud, orgulloso of his daughter's pen. He stood outside mis versos, half in fear of words he loved, but wanted not to hear. Thank you. From Sonoma County. Amber Sarah. Amber Sarah, Mrs. Caldera's House of Things by Gregory DeJanikin. You are sitting in Mrs. Caldera's kitchen. You are sipping a glass of lemonade and trying not to be too curious about the box of plastic hummingbirds behind you, the tray of timeless forks at your elbow, you have heard about the back room where no one else has ever gone, and whatever enters remains. Refrigerator doors, fuse coils, mora blades, milk bottles, pistons, gears. You never know, she says, rummaging through a cedar chest of recipes, when something will come of use. There is a vase of pencil tips on the table, a bowl full of miniature wheels and axles. Upstairs, where her children slept, the doors will not close. The stacks of magazines are burgeoning. There are snowshoes and lampshades, bed springs and picture tubes and boxes and boxes of irreducibles. You imagine the headline in the Literalist Express. House 
founders under weight of past. <laughs> but Mrs. Caldera is baking cookies. She is humming a song from childhood. Her arms are heavy and strong. They have held babies, a husband, tractor parts, and gas tanks. What have they not found a place for? It is getting dark. You have sat for a long time. If you move, you feel something will be disturbed. There is room enough only for your body. Stay a while, Mrs. Caldera says, and never have you felt so valuable. Thank you.